I also totally forgot we have to wire these things up. <laughs> you would think that would be like a step one kind of thing. Not for me. Yeah, hello everybody. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory Update Numero Ocho, baby. It's been a while since I last made a video, and that's because I went on vacation, then I went on a small hiatus, but now I'm back, and I want to make some more Satisfactory videos because I want to be productive in my life. <laughs> You know, I'm sure that this isn't going to be the thing that changes it. <laughs> but maybe I could have like a facsimile. A facsimile? Yeah, a facsimile of structure in my life. <laughs> but I haven't really been following a lot of the patch notes for update 8. And I actually don't know what is really in this update. I do know that we should have, yeah, expanded power infrastructure, which means we have power storage. Which I, I believe we already had power storage, so we don't need to worry about that. But we have power towers and power tower platforms. So if I just grab a crap ton of these, plonk it into this bad boy, press the big red button, say goodbye to Hercules, and wait for what seems to be a dog's age. <laughs> now we have these two towers, and the only difference between the two, there's no cost difference. But this one has a platform that you can walk around on top of, and this one doesn't. That's really only the difference. You would think that this one would be slightly more resource heavy just because of the walkway, but I, I, who am I, a developer? Not. <laughs> but with these things, you can have so much distance in between. We don't have to chain them up like this. Look, there's a pole here, pole here, pole here, pole here, pole here, and then so on and so forth. With these, you can go a far, far distance. And I want to see, well, that's a little bit disappointing that I can't place it like right there on that platform. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, we'll make it work. We'll find something. <laughs> so what if I do something like this, okay? And then I use some power line to go up here, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it might be a good idea to take down some trees first. Let's, let, yeah, let's clear out some area. <laughs> Plop that bad boy down right there. Now, you can see it's not too far right off the get-go, right? Like, that here to there isn't that big of a deal. But watch this. Yeah, there you go. So you can see, like, right over there, that goes to that, that goes to that, that goes to that, this goes to that, and then it comes all the way back <laughs> over here now those aren't really good indications on how far these things can go but this is that is max distance that's how far these things can go think about it that's like five of these little poles the mark ii poles all the way to get to there so that's a lot of resource saving i think because these take steel plates so i'm not I don't know if it's a direct one for one, but here's the long story short is I can hardly fly from platform to platform. So I think these are going to be a really good opportunity to use the good old zip liner. Whoop, just like that. And look at me go. Incredi wait, incredibly slow. <laughs> I, I thought this was going to be the best way to get from you know, my main base over to my other base. <laughs> I guess not. Do I, do I have to transfer? Or is it automatically going to transfer me on to the next zip line? Oh, baby. Nice. I got one more question. If I'm going downwards, is that going to go faster? Oh, I got to find that out. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. It's like a roller coaster. A not fun roller coaster. Wait, wh where? where's my velocity? Why am I not, like, speeding down this thing? <laughs> you would think that I would have just, like, vroom. <laughs> I guess, I guess not. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. But, hey, I mean, I can traverse that area up there a little bit easier now, right? But the most important thing is I can now take this right here. There's a little, uh, a little node right there in the middle of the tower. I can plug it up to this, and I can take out all of these little guys, like this down here. Uh, let's see, where's my outflow? This is my outflow. So I can take 
let's just make sure these are connected. Boom to boom. And I can take this out and delete all of these little towers throughout this cave. And bring back a little bit of natural light to this cave. Look at this. Now it hasn't been touched by mankind. <laughs> Now, I think that's pretty much it as far as what update eight does. I know there was a lot of like lighting updates and now we're on a new engine and stuff like that. And the cars are less funky and whatnot. <laughs> but that's really all of the content we got. Other than power switches, we can now prioritize certain things. Like obviously we'll prioritize the coal generation over everything else because if we accidentally go over instead of tripping all the breakers we would just trip the breakers that are less necessary until the power storage accumulates once again and then kicks back on that's a whole dealio i don't want to get into that right now <laughs> it sounds like a lot but what i want to do today is i want to start working on my sub factory it's been a while since I made a video, so I'll go ahead and quickly uh, explain this. This right here is my hub factory. Eventually, I want to get every resource to this factory to be manufactured into some fantastic thing uh, here in a central location. But I do want to have sub factories in every single biome that are going to take the raw resources and then turn it into ingots or stuff that's like necessary. Like I have a steel manufacturing plant over there. That's where I was just at. That's going to make steel. And then I have a rubber manufacturing plant there that I want to combine into one central sub factory. So I want to begin making my sub factory, my first ever sub factory today over where we were just at and i think the best way to do that is to plan ahead <laughs> i i know i know those words have never really came out of my mouth before right planning what is that right no but today <laughs> that's exactly what i want to do i want to do a little bit of planning by making some blueprints here and this isn't going to be the permanent location so i don't really care about evening this out but what i want to do is make we're gonna start off with an iron factory and we want to mass produce this iron factory because we don't have uh conveyor belts mark five yet but mark five does 760 i think 780 760 780 760 had to jump into another world here just to make sure 780 i was right the first time the second time was I right the first time or this? I was right. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to take this blueprint manufacturer and create a plug-inable furnace array <laughs> that's going to take 780 iron per minute and convert it into 780 iron ingots per minute. And I think we could do all that in this in this little cube that I could just take and place everywhere around the world. That's what I'm hoping for, let's see. It has been a while since I've done this last, so let's do a little bit of quick math. To create iron ingots, it's 30 iron ore per minute. So what I need to do is 780 divided by 30. So I need to place 26 of these smelters in this one little box here and somehow link them up. And I think the best way to do that is to have like a central line come in kind of like right here. So it's going to come in this way, go up here and then to the next layer, which I'm once again going to have another line, but it's going to go the opposite direction. It's going to go that way. And then what we could do is pull off of this main central line and go into the smelters this way um so just like this i'll face it that way and then we could just place them down kind of like one two you know three four so on and so forth but i need to i need to do some math <laughs> yeah so something like this right the input will be right here it goes into these splitters it splits off into uh one two three four five and then there'll be five more over here so it'll be 10 of these per layer so I should only need three layers, right? To get that 26, we'll have 20 on the second layer and then six on the third layer. And then we'll have an output on the top somewhere. 
Now, the, the, the thing we <laughs> need to do is, oh no, the output can be on the bottom, on these sides. Oh goodness, how am I, wait, I didn't even think about this. I have to have an output. <laughs> so we'll put some mergers over here on this side, kind of like, like this, I think. All right, so if we put seven smelters on each layer and we have four layers, I'm pretty sure we can fit four layers in here. I think we can. We're going to cross our fingers so we can fit four layers. <laughs> but then we can do something like this, okay? So the input comes in this way right here. It goes into these seven smelters. And then the seven smelters output right here and then into this merger right here. So it's going to merge into here and then the output is going to go off in that direction. So I can take all of my items this way. But what about the upper levels? Well, that's why this one is right here. So this is actually another merger. So I am going to then merge everything that's being produced from this layer right here into this. And it's going to go down in here, go up and over, and then out that same output. So that that, that should work. I'm thinking that's going to work. <laughs> i got to link everything up now. So an another thing that was added with update 8 is now you can easily take away blueprints. So instead of going, you know, piece by piece by piece here and taking away a little at a time, you can take a whole blueprint that you originally placed. You can take it away all at once. So I, I don't think we need to future prep as much as we used to in update seven. So what I did is I put eight smelters on one layer because we're dealing with these uh, uh, Mark IV belts. And Mark IV belts only have 480 resources per minute. And so I only need 16 smelters to do a whole line. Like I said, we don't need a future proof. Once we get Mark V belts, I can come by and, and redesign this blueprint and, and make it a little bit more efficient. But for now, it works. Look, it comes in here. It goes into all these smelters. There are 16 smelters total. It comes out through this right here, through up and down and around and out this way. So input over there, output right here. And I think this is gonna be a perfect start for a good iron factory. Um, so now I just gotta find a place to, to put this. <laughs> so I think the iron factory is gonna be right here somewhere. I, I, I said this before in prior episodes, but what I want to do is make a big dome over this little chasm here. Because this is just so beautiful. I love the aesthetics of this game and the waterfalls and everything. Though I, I think it's a faster pace now. Did the update... I just haven't played this in forever. <laughs> but yeah, I want to have a big old dome over this thing. So this is kind of like a... Um, e eco lab or, or what's the an echo dome? I don't know what it, the, the correct phrasing is, but it'll be a nice cool place to just walk around and, and see some cool sights and look at these really beautiful waterfalls. So I want to make that part of the sub factory. So I think what I want to do is have the iron factory kind of hovering over this stream over here. So that this is like the main entrance into the dome. I think. That's what, I mean, that's the plan. And we're going to go with it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start designing the basic layouts. All right. So that's, I mean, this is pretty much it. I like this. I mean, it's nothing too fancy. But this isn't supposed to be like the eye-catching factory part, right? This is just supposed to be a little part of the factory. And eventually... We have all this room over to the east here and over this way. We can kind of work with this whole entire area here to make a much larger iron factory down the line. So we'll be able to increase the size later. That is going to be over here. The big dome is going to be the eye catching part of this build. Uh, so this is this is perfect. Now what we can do is we can go over to the blueprints and find our 480 smelter. Look at that. I don't have enough industrial beams <laughs> oh great oh fantastic that's awesome <laughs> oh what whoa no 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 <laughs> wait a minute i thought update eight was supposed to help you guys oh is he stuck down there forever now am i is he where'd he go 
Did he just teleport? Wait a minute. You guys can teleport now? I kind of like that. I don't like the fact that he fell. <laughs> I like that. All right, here it is. We now have enough resources, and I made an additional platform here so we could have a really good logistics layer. And I learned from my mistakes. I made this logistics layer high enough to do a Mark IV uh, belt here, or a, a conveyor lift, rather. Um, <laughs> so I can go ahead and do multiple levels of belts, and I think that's going to be perfect. Honestly, I probably could have gone, like, one more down, but I... I'd rather have more space than not enough this time around. <laughs> All right, let's use this blueprint. I want to see where our input is. I forgot to, is this it? Okay, so this is our input right here on this side. So if I place it down, I want to see if I can get it right on that block to the right here. There we go. That looks good. That looks really good. How does that look here though? Wait, where's my input? Wait, why did it not rotate the way I wanted it to? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This is going to allow us to test this out because there's a way to... How do I... Uh, there's a way to... <laughs> there it is. Look at this. This is new. This is an uh, update 8 thing. Instead of deleting this all piece by piece, there is now a blueprint option. So I can just delete the whole blueprint all at once. Look how convenient that is. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> there we go. Is that is that going to work? Wait, where's my belt? It's it's building. Hang on. Let it build. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, there it is. Look at it. All in its glory. It doesn't look great. I understand that. This is just a, a temporary thing until we get 780 belts. So don't even worry about it. But for right now... This is, this is perfect. Look, we got the input over here. We got an output right here. Yeah, yeah, this'll do. This'll do. So now all I have to do is I want to link up a uh, lift to the bottom logistics layer. So something like this. We'll go ahead and put a conveyor four belt like so. And I'm just going to delete this just so I make sure that these are connecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we put another, oop, oop. <laughs> and then we put another lift right here. And I'm actually gonna put it on the roof here. I think that's gonna be the way to do it. Uh, because the way I think this line should be is something like this. So there it should go right there. And then that should, oh, oh no! It's not lined up. There we go, just like that. So now all of the ore should go up there and up into that way, and it should go into the system. Now here's the moment of truth. I don't know if this system is even going to work. I, I'm, I'm hoping it does. Where's the ore here? Has it just not made its way around? Wait, no, that's the output. We're in the input. <laughs> I'm so lost. I also totally forgot... We have to wire these things up. <laughs> you would think that would be like a step one kind of thing. Not for me. And now is moment of truth time. I, I'm really hoping that everything is linked up. It would be something that I do. <laughs> Where I forgot a belt. Like right here. Oh my goodness. Did I just find that? I did. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> I told you! I told you! Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping nothing else is like that, but let's just turn everything else on. And let's see <laughs> if it works. So far, so good. So for right now, I just went ahead and hooked it up to a couple of constructors because I needed some plates. <laughs> I was running a little bit low, and I really didn't want to travel all the way back to the hub factory to do that. But this is essentially what it's going to be, right? We're going to have our smelter factory over here in this area, and then we're going to have our uh, manufacturing factory over in this area, making whatever we need at the time. I, I can't tell the future, though, so I don't know what we currently need. <laughs> but because I want to make this part fast, we're, we're running on a 20-minute video here, so I want to make sure that I'm doing all of this sub-20 minutes. I went ahead and made this part of the factory as well, and I think what this is going to be is my depot. Right? So like I said before, the goal 
is to take all the nodes in this whole entire desert biome and sink it all into this factory right here. So what I want to do is I want to have a depot with trains running in here and belts running in here, whatever's the most convenient way to do it and trucks and so on and so forth. And it's all gonna be emptied out into these storage containers here, which then goes down into this line and goes over to be smelted into whatever material needs to be or, or made into, right? But I think this is gonna be the iron factory. We're gonna have to work on copper and all that other stuff at a later date, because like I said, we're running low on time. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry about the hiatus. I'm glad I'm back. I'm excited about picking this up and making the huge sub factory. I think next episode, we might have this dome already constructed. It might be something that I do off camera. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I will see you guys in the next episode. I love you guys to death. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. How? Uh, uh, arrivederci. Ciao. <laughs> Buongiorno. Um. <laughs>